Hey guys, just doing some painting of heads. Turn, turn that down. So we're going to just paint some heads. So I've got the got the skunk heads to start with. Just standard skunk heads. We're going to turn them into these guys. So, usually just kind of smoothing this out. I'm just going to basically just kind of go through here and do this. Cool will be to have about a hundred plus badgers at Nebraska Brick Days and Brick World Chicago. And any library shows that happen between now and then, if I take something that I can put the badgers on, they will end up there also. Just using my posts that I got laying around and just putting the helmet on there makes it easier to work with. Thank you. 
is how many do I want to paint? I still got a, a whole monster bag. I only think I have 20... 20 something actual torsos and legs. Let me see if I can put this in here without ruining my I think I need 20... And the skunk torso's legs were pretty expensive, so I'm using uh, using a much different, using like a, I guess a raven one. I mean, in the end, it's a, you know, it's all up into our imagination how we use this. So it looks like I'm using, so I'm doing this. This is kind of, so it'll be this. It'll be the, it'll be the torso and the legs. Standard skunk head. And then these settlements here, and he had two, four, six, ten, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, six, twenty-eight, it looks like. Twenty-nine, twenty-nine, twenty-nine. So I'm at, at twenty-four, so I need five more. I'll just do another six to give me a backup.
definitely doesn't sound very good when that brown hits the plate. That's all I gotta say. Once I get the marker going, I'm going to keep doing it. And I'll go back and paint the, uh, go back and paint the noses, the purple noses. I'll paint those black. So. But for now, we're going to do the white and get knock the white out.
What's up, Hoarder? How's it going? Well, just painting. Just doing some fire at your head. So, so I got two, two plates here, two plates over there, and then working with this plate here. So hopefully going to have, I'll do 30 tonight. I need 29 to finish these guys to finish. Finish this tub of guys. And most of these look pretty good. They're pretty pretty synonymous. There's a couple a couple oddballs in there, but you know. So just kind of painting. Just I kind of start kind of late tonight doing this, but I kind of was watching. Got sucked. Sucked to this stuff on the internet watching stuff so but trying to get them done for nebraska and stuff so once i get this done army stuff is pretty much done and then i just need to uh, uh i can go back to concentrating just on uh, castle uh, castles, uh, raising up the Hope Castle for lighting and building a, a gray castle, go figure, for the, the humans to occupy for Nebraska, which will translate into Chicago, where, it'll, where the castle will get overrun by orcs. So I'm going to kind of have, if I can loop all the shows together this year, that'll be kind of the story this year. So... Um, that's, that's the goal anyway, so, but I've had these sitting around for a while, um, I acquired more heads recently, uh, no, uh, no, so these are, these are the, uh, these are the Chima, the Chima skunks, let's go, the skunk helmet's the only thing I'm altering, I'm gonna use the heads, just the standard skunk heads. These were the cheapest of any piece that I was using. And then I'm just using the, I'm just going to use the Raven, one of the Raven torsos and legs. I mean, you know, in the end, I mean, you're going to, everybody's going to be looking at the heads anyways, probably because that's what you'll see. So they really won't be looking at the bodies other than they're black. So, so I do have, I do have 10. I did pick up, I, I have a bunch of skunk tails. I have like 25 or 30 skunk tails. Um, but I have, uh, I picked up, with this order, I picked up 10, uh, 10 torsos and 10 legs for skunks. So I'll probably have a small contingent of actual skunks, like maybe uh, 10 or 15, probably closer to closer maybe 10 or 12. So, but in the end, it'll, it's just kind of coming up with the story. Only difference with these markers, with the markers I'm using, is I have to kind of, that's only downfalls. I have to actually use it facing downwards, which is kind of a, it's kind of a pain. That's why I'm using these. So I, this time around versus the, the last couple times, I'm actually using a post I can hold on to and actually, actually paint from the top. So works pretty good. So took a while getting started. You just got to get the, the, the ink flowing. Shake it really good. And just kind of get it. I'll have to go back and probably do a uh, pick up a very fine point. I'll have to put a black, like maybe a little bit of a black inside the inside the white ear. I'm thinking. So I do with some of the early ones. I make my own armies at least until until they bring back Chima. Maybe for Chima's maybe for Chima's twenty fifth anniversary, maybe they'll do something special. Maybe maybe they'll bring back uh, 
couple special kits or something. Who knows? Kind of cool. Dig the molds. Dig the molds out of the cellar. Or come up with some new races like the Badger or something. Get from a stop for tonight on those. And I still got. The sad part is, is I mean, I might have to save up some more money for more torsos and legs because I, mean, I still got. I still got a whole bag ahead of, of the helmet. So, uh, yeah, Dremel tool. Yeah, I, mean, I haven't. The only thing I cut was that I kept cut uh, for cutting stuff. I've only cut base plates and stuff occasionally. So now these guys, I do need to go back through, and I'm not a fan of the purple nose, so I will the black Sharpie just kind of go through and paint over that. I, I like purple. I love purple, but the purple nose is kind of, kind of just kind of distracts from it, so... Makes it good for a cartoonish type figure, but I'm trying to make a realistic badger, the purple nose just don't cut it. Always nice to kind of you know tweak stuff a little bit. I mean, obviously, you know, I mean, obviously, if kids were going to do this, I'd just say, you know, <clears throat> take your time, find, you know, maybe you know some sharper, you know, maybe very fine and stuff, you know, things. I mean, you know, obviously, we all see it in our, you know, I've seen it in collections I've acquired where kids have gone to town on figures. You know, I guess now it's one of those things where it's just like I might I probably won't use some of that stuff, but in the end there's nothing wrong that shows ingenuity. Um but you know, if you're gonna do stuff with torsos and stuff these days with technology, you can almost go with like a vinyl sticker or something, put it over the actual um you know, torso and stuff and actually maintain that the ability to maybe use what's behind it later on. You know, and if, you know, with these things, I mean with these heads, I mean they're they weren't super expensive. They weren't super cheap. I mean, you know, um, and kind of, I mean, and, and this kind of the reason it started was I actually do wear, uh, I wear like a hat for work. I mean, I don't have to, but I do. Bucky Badgers are kind of, is our, uh, is part of our, our logo for work. So I deliver Bucky Badger products, cheeses, snacks and stuff. So I started wearing that hat and I was like, okay, you know, that probably should be part of my, um, part of my persona, so I kind of that's why I went with this for like almost like a sig fig. This was gonna be my sig fig, and there's a few of those floating out there. A few people have already gotten them. Um, and so in the end, it's now it's kind of a badger army. I might have to retweak that thought, unless I can keep getting more of the helmets, but um, I think it was just a I think I had some spare torsos I maybe got somewhere. I don't remember where I got them. 
and leg, and then some. I just did khaki pants, and uh, probably one of the lion heads or something because it'd be more of a flesh for me. And then uh, and then one of these badger helmets, and then usually a cape. So I might have to revisit that for the sig fig at some point if I. I do that. Okay, so those are oh, and this one. Right, not to you guys, to someone else. Once I finish making these guys, then I might go to bed. Whoa, oh, there it went reddish brown. Man, oh man, one of these days, hopefully, they'll figure out how to fix reddish brown. That's just that's two of these have broken. Guess I should have used my gray ones that I have out in storage instead of my reddish brown ones. I'm wondering if that's if it's something that's maybe a fragile with every part, but I don't think we see it with anything other than really reddish brown. Reddish brown what we see it the most. It's kind of you can just hear this stuff just tweaking. That or the that or there must be the newer plates must have a different. I don't know there's something with the different sizing or something with new stuff versus old, older stuff. I don't know. It's weird. I have to give those broken parts to the people working on the apocalypse type builds and stuff. You got some broken parts and stuff. Broken columns and whatnot. Maybe these are older. These are this is older reddish brown, but I got lots of Palisade bricks I used over the years. I never really had any problems with it. It might be just certain certain pieces within the reddish brown back in the day that were more fragile. I know plates were bad. I got a couple plates that have snapped. Um, a couple jumper plates from the Hobbit hole that uh, those have gone. Those broke recently. Whoops. So. I do have some old dark red plates, too. Hopefully those will never break real bad. But they were like a, those were like a 8 by 8 or 6 by 6.
Yeah, I mean, in the end, like, you know, you just got to find a use for them, you know. I guess I could do that too. I think I've got them sitting somewhere, some of the broken ones. These will get, these figs will get added to an epic battle for. Uh, Nebraska Brick Days, so uh, 750 Ice Bears with, uh, with about close to 700 plus, maybe 750 of Crocs, and um, I think I've got 100 Sabertooths. Plus, it should be a rather large just and it's gonna be a good it's gonna be four four six foot tables uh, yeah I got mine are somewhere I mean plus a lot of them are sitting here I mean obviously I broke broke a weird one I was taking apart one of the and that and this is a part I'll probably have to send in and get replaced because it's part of one of the uh, one of the Chima Max. Uh, I actually snapped this. I snapped this one day. I thought that was this was humorous. I can't believe I snapped it. But you know, the two by the two by two brick with the ball. So that that snapped the part. So yeah, that was. That's probably one more of the interesting ones that I've I've that has broken on. Oh, Sharpie, run away, Sharpie. So some of these other ones I'll have to go back and do the inside ear at some point. I guess it's just meant to kind of give it a little bit of a. The skunks, it was just like a white. So, make some figs and put them in the bin. Might have to come up with a special uh, special cape for these guys at some point. I do make a lot of custom capes too. Um, taught a couple uh, sessions at some of the different shows. Um, probably need to be watching. Chicago stuff to see if they're gonna do if they need me to do a workshop this year. Maybe do one. Um, usually they're pretty popular. I don't want to do the building, the making of custom cloth items, uh, sails, capes, tents, stuff like that. You know, uh, the capes I've experimented with some other cloths lately too. Um, I guess this guy. I, 
I, I, I've been playing. We've been playing D and D lately too. So I got my dice tower. I need to redo that. But I actually played with some some actual like velvet. I mean, it was hard. To, it it, did, it tracing it was tough. Cutting it was about the scissors. Punching it with the paper hole punch. Now that was another story. That didn't work as well as I hoped. Well, so you know, it's it's and you know, I mean, once you get really, once you really get into this, into the Lego hobby, I mean, it's you know, sometimes just doing a lot of your own custom stuff is kind of kind of a little bit just kind of fun stuff i mean it's kind of fun to do it a little bit and i have i have a rather large collection um did work for lego for many years bought faster than i could build grab bags were a, a plentiful back in the day i mean it's funny because building okay later hoarder we'll catch you later later will um yeah i'm gonna probably close it up here in probably about five ten minutes anyways but thank you for stopping by Remember, I stream on Friday nights, Friday Night Bricks. You know, that'll be the best time to catch the most of us. And we'll be doing D&D again this week, too, afterwards. Uh-oh. Missing a leg. Uh-oh. Hey, all bricks. How's it going? How's it going? It's just a badger building night. Kind of just finished finished painting a bunch of heads. Now I'm just gonna build them and then put them in the uh, put them in the bin. I got one of those uh, flip top bins. I liked uh, one of the my, my friend out in Colorado, uh, who's got a big croc collection, was doing bins like this for his his armies. My ice bear army is way too large to do that, but for the badgers, which is kind of one of those smaller armies, I can do that. So I'm just kind of Shazam, huh? Shazam, I liked, I liked that movie. Cool, cool, yeah, just playing some music. I did most of the paintings done, so now it's just putting them together. I just need to kind of get this done. I wanted to have these done for the, the upcoming shows, especially any, I have a library show at the end of the month. If I can take in, rather than even setting up any ice bears, just set up badgers, that'd be pretty cool. Um, I can get back to castle building, castle modifying, stuff like that. So, uh, you know, that's why I get these done. Yeah, actually, and somebody, somebody actually, <laughs> funny because somebody on facebook marketplace had one here locally recently they had one of those one of the big cart thingies and responded i mean responded two or three times the person never responded back i'm guessing it's probably sold but i have to go hunt for him again Let's see if i can find some more yeah they work pretty good i mean in the end i used uh, in the early days of my ice bear army i used the uh i was using oh, so you still got some heads left i was using the <coughs> Um, thread containers, you know, for uh, needles and th uh, needles and thread. See how many these guys I can keep from breaking. As I said earlier, I already broke one of the one of the posts. Might be the way I pick it up too, maybe. Lots of weird parts in the back in the day when, you know, we had these on the 
They might have been on the wall or something. I got a drawer full of them somewhere. They have a good purpose right now for painting these heads, so. And I broke one. So I've broken two of these dang things already. Kind of sad, It'd be nice if they. It'd be nice to bring back, uh, you know, the battle packs. That color, yeah. I, know. I think I've got some broken plates and some other stuff. So in the end, it yeah, kind of, kind of sucks. But might be too the way I maybe pick them up too. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm, maybe instead of pulling it off, I'm kind of twist turning it or pushing it to the side you know kind of like you know we talk about how we walk if we drag our feet and stuff maybe it's kind of something like that if you don't pull it straight up you know unfortunately plates you can't pick it straight up unfortunately that's kind of the problem you know you know you need the brick separates for those and yeah, I should have probably done this earlier tonight. I got home and just kind of kind of veg out in front of the computer. I mean, that's the problem. I mean, so I'm kind of waiting for the good weather, better weather. So cool weather, cold weather should get me motivated, but. Not as much as you'd think. So. But definitely looking forward to this weekend. Actually, I need to prep before I go to bed. I need to prep my. Friday stream, get that ready to go. We're actually doing D&D &D again this week. Some more D&D, &D, which will be cool. Um, oh, what's going on here? Okay. Okay, so I got, so maybe there was shorter the leg on my order. I miscounted something. They got one torso and two more helmets. The 30 helmets, so two's right. Actually, one. Oh, yeah. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, we, got, we got badgers. Okay, so... Let's see if we can get these guys in here. You guys with capes falling all over the place here. No, actually. Well, that's why. Yeah, this isn't one giant plate, so. smaller ones, so I'm going to have to figure that out later. Probably getting bounced around too much right now. Thank you. 
Yeah, I would say that probably is very time intensive. You got to have water and plus you got to dry out the parts too, I suppose, too. So it's not something that's just. Oh, whoa. They all don't have the same torso and legs. There are some, some over here that are a little bit different. Well, luckily for me, my castle is clear. And the, the landscaping is white. Uh, I don't, and actually, I haven't taken, I don't think I've taken apart my brown scenery from my island last year which is still got to get done at some point so that probably won't be fun okay got room for maybe a few few more Uh, they don't have cakes. Yep. Later, all bricks. We'll catch you later. Maybe see you Friday night, maybe. I said these most of these are all the same torso legs these over here are scattered probably some stuff from support we got some female ones in there so there you go there's the there's the badger army so might still kind of tweak maybe get a couple more or look through some of my other parts from support and stuff we do have some bins of bins of miscellaneous parts i can maybe try and build a couple more Just for some different regiments of the of the badgers, so we'll catch everybody later. Uh, don't forget, folks. Uh, we do Friday night bricks coming up here on Friday night, and also we'll have the D and D afterwards. So get ready. Fun, fun, fun. Have a good night, everybody. We'll catch you later. See you Friday night.